Hello, and we're ready to look at the experimental evidence proof, being a stupid word that we don't use, of semi-conservative replication. So here were three possible models. This is the one that we know is correct. There was this possible model and this possible model. So semi-conservative is what we say happens. It's what Watson and Crick came up with. Conservative replication is where the original templates stay together and the new helix is a new helix. New, two new strands, two old strands. Hmm, how would that work? Dispersive replication, at the completion, both strands contain both original and newly synthesized. So something like doing something like there's little parts as parts of each, and the other one has parts and parts and parts. And so let's talk about the evidence. Yes, I will tell you. So here we go. If this were true, conservative replication, right, that means the template, right, the original template, after replication, one of the sisters is template, template, old strand, old strand. One, the other sister would be new strand, new strand. After the second round, again, right, you'd never be able to tell new, new, they're both new. So there'd always be this one original old strand, everything else would be new. That's conservative. Dispersive, again, template strands. And then somehow, each one is some template, some new strand. Right? Each one has some template, some new strand. Right? Template new, template new, all the way through. In semi-conservative... Template strand, one old here, one new, one old, one new. And then if you did another round, new, 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 old, new, old, new. So old, new, new, but you get the idea. So that's what happens if each of those were actually correct. So for the experiment, we need to use density uh, gradient centrifugation. What does that mean? That means a test tube is filled with some sort of heavy solution, either a salt solution or a sugar solution, so that um, it can differentiate the difference in weight between molecules. So something really heavy is going to travel all the way to the bottom of the tube, tube when you spin it in a centrifuge where, with, from gravity whereas something lighter will end up floating somewhere in the middle because it's kind of a thick, like think of it like, you know, jello or a really thick solution. It's hard to get stuff through it. And then something really light would be up at the top. So they're just saying, here's this gradient or this really thick salt solution after you spin it again several days, right? Because um, it takes a while to separate molecules. We're talking about DNA molecules. And... The lighter stuff stays floating in the top, middleweight stuff in the middle, and really heavy stuff down at the bottom. Okay, and so for our experiments with DNA, we need to actually label it. If we want to tell the difference between a new strand and an old strand, we need to label the nucleotides. So we can label nucleotides with nitrogen because it's a nitrogen-containing base, right? So when we um, generate these nucleotides, they can incorporate either... N14 or N15, different isotopes of nitrogen, right? This one has more protons, so it actually, uh, the atom is heavier. So we call it heavy DNA versus light DNA. So if you grew up cells and, and they were doing replication and incorporating a heavy nitrogen, that DNA would be heavier and would float to the, float to the bottom, sink to the bottom, whereas... DNA labeled with N14 would stay at the top. So let's see how this experiment goes. What happened? What happened? What happened? I know, you can't believe it, right? We're excited. So, in order to support which method, first we take 
uh, medium or growth medium that's heavy nitrogen, nitrogen 15, okay, and we grow up the bacterium, they're incorporating that N15 into their bases, those nucleotides are put into the DNA as we're doing replication, and if they were just grown in this N15 and we did this centrifugation, all we'd see is the heavy DNA down here because everything was grown in N15. If we first grow it in the N15 media, like let it go through at least a couple rounds of replication, and then take it out and put it into N14 and do a round of replication, one round of replication, one single round of replication, and then we'd go through uh, the centrifugation, this density gradient centrifugation, what they saw was a single band in, of intermediate weight. Okay, so, right, original DNA template. That suggests that each molecule has one old and one new. If they were both old, it would sink down to here. If they were both new, it would sink up to there. We would have seen that if the uh, conservative replication were true. We don't see that. Then, right, if we then transfer again, do one more round of replication, we see still this intermediate represented by these guys, right, that this one split old and new or blue and red, this one split blue and red, and then this blue guy got a new strand of red, this red guy got a new strand of red, this uh, blue guy got a new strand of red, and this red guy got a new strand of red, right? The red meaning the N14 filled DNA. And so what we'd see is the intermediate size and then the two light guys, and that's what we saw. Again, supporting semi-conservative. If we do that again, go through another round of replication, right, we always see this intermediate because that original template strand still exists. It doesn't go away. So let's see what we know. What? What do I know? You uh, well, what you know is which ones from that experiment were the N15. Whoa, sorry. Whoop. How come I can't erase anymore? What the heck's going on? It's really irritating. And the N14, in conservative, this would be heavy. Ugh. Heavy. This one would be heavy. This one would be light. This one would be heavy, and all of these would be light. What about if it was dispersive? This would be heavy. This would be intermediate. This would continue to be intermediate. This would be heavy. This would be intermediate. This would be intermediate. And this would be light. And that is what we know. Now it's up to you guys to tell me which model goes with this. Yeah, yeah. Write it on here in giant letters. Take a screenshot and upload which one would look like this. And last but not least, which one would look like this? Take a screenshot of each of those and upload to whatever today is, Wednesday, October, something or other. And I'll have it say something about replication homework and have at it.